morning guys how are you guys doing i hope you're all doing very very well i am back with a day in my life vlog after really long and look at my baby hair they're all over the place but that's what frizzy hair are and it's monsoon time so you can imagine that it's going to be crazy hair are going to be there're going to be a lot of bad hair days thanks to the monsoon um i have had a busy morning actually but i thought Why not vlog it with you guys? I'm getting ready for a shoot already. I'm actually wearing a really cool uh, quad set uh, that the people at Nike had sent me. Uh, I think it's really, really cute and very summer and very comfy. Also, you know, relaxed loungewear, quad set, whatever you can call it. Honestly, today is such a busy morning uh, because obviously my daughter is home. It's summer holidays going on, and uh, when she's home, it's so impossible for me to work to shoot anything. I mean, I'm not complaining as a mother, but I am complaining as a content creator. And I think most of you content creator moms. Uh, will relate to this that holiday time means you just do not know how to work because you know our workspace is our home you know we shoot from our home so most of our time then goes around the kid and my daughter is such she wants attention like how like today she was telling me but i told her sir i have a shoot so she said why do you have a shoot every day like literally so that's pretty much a struggle when you have a child at home during holidays and you have to continue work because it's holidays for them but it's not holiday time for you uh, every time i think i i make a vlog i do share with you the hustle that i go through as a creator as a mom or as a person who's managing a house it's been more than a month we moved and then we took a holiday in fact i have just come back from our france trip uh the blog will come out very soon guys but right now i don't have the time you know the look changes the moment you open your hair versus you tying your hair just done a really light makeup because the shoot that i have is actually of a clothing brand and not really a beauty shoot my makeup is always very 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 subtle i don't do too much because i don't want the focus to be on my face and basically on the whole concept of the video so all i do is i've put a little tinted moisturizer to give a little coverage a little lip balm not even too much blush actually i don't add too much color on my face and a little mascara so that the eyes don't look like they're sleeping my hair are pretty sorted for the shoot otherwise i'll have to you know when i have to dye and it's even a bigger ball game of too much to prep just a little better yeah Okay, let's go. Time to shoot. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Look at my makeup, guys. It's fairly simple, but I think it's looking nice. Uh, haven't put any jewelry. I'm gonna put some earrings. Hair are funny, but it's okay. Half the time, I'm not able to shoot because of the construction noise outside. I've actually moved into a new building, and a lot of the amenities are still getting done. So <laughs> the construction noise is actually of my building. So I can't even complain. Hello. Okay, you can see the shoot mess already ready, but this is the empty studio, guys. But you know what? When you shoot, this is what you need. So I've just put a. Uh, this is all shoot stuff, guys. So I've just put a table right now and a chair. This, these are all the outfits and the robe that I have to wear. Um, this is all the PR stuff that has come in that I need to shoot. There's of course a long mirror. But that's my tripod. This is. the long mirror from my previous house only and this is the set that i'm wearing today which looks really nice it's really super comfy actually and i think really summer so these are the outfits that i have to shoot today and this is all the pr stuff that i have to shoot and get done with but yes guys this is my studio let me know what you think so this is a wardrobe i got uh, from ikea it's perfect because i really needed like another white background to shoot i'm going to have like a sofa here i always need like a white background to shoot and now this is also the other white background and i get more storage also so yes guys this is like an empty studio tour for you guys uh, of course it has like a big window because i need natural light but guys there's no sun since so long because of uh the weather anyway uh, i'm going to get to shooting it's a long shoot day i have to get my camera set up done and all of that So I'm going to catch up with you guys very soon. Halfway through, multiple changes done. Guys, being the content creator is not easy, and for a one-minute video at least, 
I will shoot for one and a half hour at least. And it's going to be a long footage and I'll keep editing it. That's what a content creator life is. So my daughter is having lunch right now. Uh, there's an amazing dal that my mother-in-law makes, which is made today. My cook makes it. It's called khatti dal. They put imli in the dal. It's actually arhar dal. But it's really nice. It's not really sambar, but it's like sambar-like only. It's got this rahi ka tadka and all, guys. I don't know why I'm giving you cooking details, but that is... What is made for lunch and I'm actually very hungry but I still have halfway through to go to finish this video. So guys, that's the final shoot outfit and I'm done. Finally shoot is done. I'm very I'm holding an empty bag by the way. That's the part of shoot life. Uh, but I'm done and I, I quite like this look by the way. It's like a formal look and I love this blazer also. Very nice and this is my look. Time for lunch. I'm gonna quickly change up to my most simple ghar ke kapde and get back to you on my look. So finally hair have gone back in a bun with the baby hair out. Oof. I need to do something about it. And uh, I'm in my comfy home clothes. I literally live in H&M t-shirts. Most comfortable. And time for lunch. I haven't removed my makeup and all because very hungry. So time for lunch. I'll show you what's made. So guys this is for lunch today. Uh, this is the typical Punjabi gobi aloo. Um, if you don't know, I am Punjabi and I love my gobi aloo. So this is the classic gobi aloo. This is a special dish. I saw this on Instagram. I saw a recipe and I fell in love. So we have basically chopped the eggplant into thin slices. And uh, on another pan, we have uh, roasted some uh, red chilies and we'll do some onions also. And uh, this is the special dal that I was telling you. This is actually a tur dal, which is like the arhar dal. But we put some imli water in it, tamarind and all in it. Uh, and it becomes really nice. So there's dal rice, of course rice. Uh, there's dal rice, there's gobi aloo. I have to have two vegetables with my lunch because my lunch is usually very heavy. And there's these two. I'm going to show you how this is mashed. By the way guys, there's garlic cloves also in it. So there's garlic and chilli that will be mashed with this. Basically, she'll mash this up and it will become like a bharta sort of a thing. That's a peek into my kitchen. Um, when I'm hungry, this 2 o'clock lunch time, I'm really famished. So I eat a big lunch. So my breakfast is usually egg whites and avocado mostly. Today I even missed that. I just had coconut water. So we basically just mash this all up manually mashing putting the red chili spicy red chili into my eggplant and it just then with your hands you just have to mash this all up and just make like a mashed dish out of it and it is the most delicious have it with plain rice and you'll love it and that's my salad i'm gonna add tomato to it and you can see slowly coming together the because the eggplant was already cooked it's easier to mash it up and there's just garlic and chili or namak namak kali mirch and red lal mirch now so basically little masalas and garlic and chili and this will be the most delicious dish you've had and this is the second time in this week i'm eating this guys so guys that's my lunch there's dal rice gobi aloo and that bengan bharta dish that i taught you guys amazing with a plate full of salad it's so tasty guys. I like to mix everything up and eat. So that's me having some curd also and some salad. Time for a game with the little one. This game is called Dobble. Yeah. And what do we have to do? Show me. We have to put two cards down hmm. and see what's the common. same thing. The common okay, thing. Okay, the game starts the now. The common thing is spider. Oh, okay. So if I said Spider, yeah. then I take these two cards. Okay. And okay. we are on to the next game. This is Fam Jam, and you have to what? make like a family of Peppa. Oh, oh my god, you already won. Oh. No, but is this a full family? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, I am finally um, doing some tender love and care for my skin because it's been a long shoot full morning and I really haven't had the time because if sometimes you know our shoots are such that you know you don't really get the time to do your required skincare and your usual shower routine. Just taking off my makeup firstly, taking that 10 minutes out and doing your skincare properly will do wonders to your skin. So I am just done with removing my makeup 
and uh, there is a skincare range that I'm loving lately and it's from this clean and conscious uh, skincare brand called Himaira and uh, I've, I've seen them on Instagram and I really like their products so I ordered a bunch of them and I'm really loving them so let me show you. Now that I've cleansed my face properly the first product I'm using from Himaira is their 24 karat gold face wash oh my god when i saw this product i was like oh my god what is this and you have to see the texture of this product it's really nice and it says it's for a radiant glow so you guys know how much i love products that add glow to your skin so check this out just look at the glitter particles in it firstly the texture is so beautiful. It's a shiny gel based cleanser that cleanses and revitalizes your skin. My face is damp now and I'm just gonna apply this. It's firstly, what I love is that it smells incredible and uh, it's really like it provides this really nice smooth lather on the face. And it really cleanses your skin and provides this luxurious sheen on your skin. You'll see. So I spend one minute when I apply my face wash. Can you look at that shine on my skin? I haven't even dried out my face but I want to set, show you real time how my skin feels after using this. Brightened, it provides this really luxurious sheen on your skin as you can see. It's like glass skin feel on your skin which gives you like this nice glowy brightened spark and literally this has, you saw my before and see my after, my skin is so brightened and beautiful. This is what this face wash does. I love it. A bright and glowy, natural glowy skin, cleansed out skin, well cleansed out skin. It's enriched with 24 karat gold flakes, niacinamide and rose water. And I love the natural glow it's given my skin. Highly recommend you guys to try it. So it's time to hydrate my skin and I always need a really nourishing and hydrating moisturizer for my skin and this Samaira moisturizer is all. It's a hydro bomb 72 hour hydration moisturizer and I'm loving it. I particularly love moisturizers that deeply hydrate my skin and this is so good. It's actually quite similar to my favorite moisturizer. The Clinique Moisture Surge, the texture is amazing and it's so hydrating on the skin. And this is like an all season moisturizer, super hydrating for literally all seasons. Uh, just look at that texture, it is so smooth and so nice. Smells also really nice and again it's so smooth. I loathe my skin with moisturizers. You guys know how much I love using nice hydrating nourishing moisturizers and this really passes the test because it's so nourishing. I love this moisturizer, it's just perfect. It really deeply nourishes the skin, makes it so smooth and nourished. Smells incredible. And look at my skin, can you see that glow? I love the glow that these two products have added to my skin. I personally have a dry skin. I used to have a flaky skin on the nose, but just look at that. This will take care of all the dryness on your skin, any flakiness that you have. It will really smoothen the skin out. It makes my skin super healthy and look at how plump my skin looks. This extremely lightweight and super hydrating moisturizer actually improves the skin's barrier as well. And it actually fights against the acne marks on your skin because this is enriched with niacinamide. Healthy looking skin, that plumped up skin. That's what it does. Love it. Highly recommend you to try this. Guys, dryness is not just on our face. It also runs on our body. And I constantly have dryness on my arms, on my legs, on my back. The last product from Himaira that has truly won my heart is this. Because I'm very particular about the oils and the stuff that I put on my body. Because, you know, it becomes greasy and all of that. But this product has won my heart. So this is the dry body oil by Himaira. I love this because this is so nice. Firstly, why? Because it comes with a pump. So you can literally just spray it and you see, super lightweight. And I love how it feels on the skin. Just look at that. It's a very lightweight oil. Smells so incredible. Literally transported to a spa.
Quite definitely one of the best oil mists I've ever used. I've actually not used any oil mist, but of course I've used a lot of body oils. But the fact that this is an oil mist that just nourishes my skin so well, something I've been applying every day on my body, literally after a shower or later or in the evening before my night skincare routine. I use this and my skin is so smooth. Just look at that. This oil is actually enriched with a lot of cold pressed and botanical oils. So literally it provides a lot of nutri nutrients to your skin and the essential oils. It's super therapeutic to apply it. Literally leaves my skin feeling smooth, supple and moisturized. Just look at the sheen on my arms. You can see how good it feels without feeling very sticky or heavy on the skin. Of course, in this humidity in summer and monsoons, all the time you don't you do want to fight dryness without feeling sticky and this dry body oil is heaven you have to give this a try you will absolutely love it i'm using this literally every day so that was a little pampering and self-care session here i am finally free and done for the day in terms of my work uh, i'm going to relax a little and probably have an iced coffee after this but my skin is nourished and you can see how glowy it looks whether it's my face or my arms, right now I'm all about this nourished, healthy glow on my face, on my arms. And it's all thanks to these amazing uh, products from Nimaira. I actually love all of them and I highly recommend you guys to try them. This is tried and tested and highly, highly recommend because they're so good. Everything is lightweight. Everything is so good on the skin, smooth, gentle on the skin. I'm going to link them down in my description you need to try them you'll love them you guys the self-care session is done and you can see how beautiful my skin is looking i love the glow on my skin and look at my arms this healthy rich glow on my skin it looks like i've come out after getting a routine done like a, a facial done or something that's how good my skin is looking and feeling and that's just because of these amazing himaira products i'm loving them and i highly recommend you to try them the face wash was so good and the moisturizer and this body oil is going to be on my bedside i'm going to be using it and i'm actually going to tell my husband to use it also because it's so good Well, I just got done with some calls and some edit work. By the way, I'm a big uh, believer of eating an early dinner. Actually, I think I feel hungry only between 6 to 7. So mostly it's still evening time and I have my dinner. Um, and uh, my dinner time is between 6 to 7 p.m. Usually by 6.30 I have my dinner. And honestly, you'll feel so much lighter the next morning if you have early dinner. And that's my big tip for a lot of people who ask me how I lost weight. I think one principle that I swear by is early dinners. Dinner time and I'm having some fried rice. Homemade fried rice with lots of veggies and eggs. So this is like an egg fried rice with gochujang sauce, which is like a Korean chili paste, which I recently discovered. So this is dinner, guys. Finally, dinner is done. I keep trying out healthy recipes, especially when I'm craving like something interesting and uh, I want to keep it healthy. So I try and eat rice. I don't eat roti too much. I try and add lots of vegetables in my food, whether it's lunch or dinner. Lots and lots of veg green vegetables or any vegetables. It's like a mix of a like, rainbow of vegetables in my food always. Hair situation in monsoon is always a little frizzy. I've been off non-veg for 7-8 years and off eggs also. But we started eating eggs, me and my husband, this year. Because, you know, source of protein was really lagging in our diet. So I eat egg whites, I add egg whites in everything, even if I'm having dal chawal, I will have some veggies along with it and I will add some portion of egg whites like sort like scrambled or like a half fry or whatever like an omelette or something. So that was my dinner guys, I'm done for the day, I am just sitting here, not the perfect position honestly because uh, you should sit on a desk and I do have a studio and a table and chair there. But uh, the plan of the day is I will end up ed editing a little more, put my daughter to bed and then that's it. That's pretty much my day. My skin is still looking quite nice and uh, yeah guys, self-care, be productive, do what you do, love what, love what you do and do what you love, I feel. And yes, um, balance, of course, uh, you, we sh as bloggers show you bits of our lives, uh, but there's a lot that goes beyond what we show. So yeah, so in the last 12 hours of my day, I've literally shown you minute 
like few minutes uh, of it but of course there's a lot that goes around in managing a house and being a mom and of course being a full time content creator takes a lot of effort so yes guys that's pretty much my day i hope you guys like this video uh, i'm going to take your leave i did this soon and share this soon and i'll get back to you very soon and i am coming up with the france vlog very soon sharing the paris vlog very soon so stay tuned